All right, I want to talk about Flexbox and styling forms. I've got a very basic form here with a text field, an input field for email, an input field for a password, a drop down list, and a button. And here's the way I've got it styled by default. Now, whenever you're styling things, you should always do a mobile first approach. So you should always design your screen so they work on a small screen. I've got the same layout at any different width. So at a small size, I want this vertical stacking with the labels on top of the inputs, just like this all the way down. My button fills up the whole width, nice big target. Drop down list fills up the whole width, the inputs fill up the whole width. Just a nice simple layout. Now, one thing I could do to try and save a little bit of space on mobile is because I have the, pl uh, the uh, placeholders inside each one of these, I could actually hide the labels because the placeholders are serving that purpose. So in my default CSS, I've got a bunch of defaults for the page. My main element, I'm setting the width to 10% or 90%, so there's 10%, 5% on either side. That's my gap that I've got here, my margin. I'm using auto on the left and right to make sure it's centered. And I've got a max width set at 1000 pixels. So when I get up to this size, you can see I've got a gap here and a gap here. Okay, now I'm going to hide the labels. What I'm doing by default is I'm using Flexbox. So these form box elements, the CSS class form box, these are the containers that fit around each one of these pairs. If I scroll down here, so what you can see is I've got these divs with the class form box wrapped around each one of these pairs. There's a label and an input, a label and an input, a label and an input, a label and a select, and a button. Each one of these elements, these pairs right here, has this div around it, and I use that to keep them grouped together and style them and make sure that my spacing works out so I've got less space in between the label and the input control than I do between the label and the control that's above it. So a nice consistent layout. That's what this form box is. Here's my padding, 0.5 REM on the top and bottom, nothing on the left and right, so they will fill up that whole width display flex direction column. So they are going to stack. Each one of the divs is display flex. That means these two elements are both the flex items. And I'm setting it to column, so they will stack vertically like this. Okay, now at my smallest size, by default, I'm going to make my labels display none. There we go. Now I've got a nice condensed form. Still have enough space between the elements. I still have the instructions to the user, but it's a nice condensed form. It's good for mobile. When I get to be a little bit larger, so at the 500 pixels, this is under 500. When I get up to the 500, which will be around here somewhere, what I want to do is I want to start showing those labels. So we can say display block. As we, there we go. So screen got a little bit bigger. Now we're showing the labels and the inputs. Great. When we get a little bit larger, now I've got room to start putting them beside each other. So the label and the input can sit side by side. We can do that by changing the flex direction. So I haven't changed anything here. I've got all these. I'm going to go back afterwards and I would clean out anything that I'm not using, but I just left the same style selectors in all three of the media queries so that you can see the difference between them. So form box, when I get up above 600 pixels, we're going to change to row. Okay. Now they're sitting side by side but I've got some alignment issues. Those aren't going to be too difficult to solve. What I want to do is I'm going to have a fixed width, basically, for the labels. So that's going to force these guys to line up in a nice straight line. I'm going to let all the shrinking and growing happen with the fields, or sorry, the uh, input controls right here. These are the guys that are going to shrink and grow. And I want to make sure that this button comes over and aligns itself with these as well. All right, so let's come down to here. The label flex basis is how you control the, the width. 
There we go. So I'm going to use flex basis nine. That's how you control the width of a flex item. I'm going to set the uh, flex grow and flex shrink both to zero so they don't change from this value. Flex grow zero, flex shrink zero. There we go. Okay, so that works as we grow and we shrink. Wonderful. The button to move it over here. Well, since these guys are going to always be nine REMs, I can just set a margin on him of nine REMs. So margin on the left, nine REMs. There we go. They're lined up. Now, the flex basis, start them at zero. So they're all going to be the same size. The flex grow, they're all going to take up the remaining space. The flex shrink. Again, any growing and shrinking is going to be assigned to them. And there we have it. So we have our responsive form. It works all the way up to this size. As we shrink down, eventually we get to the point where it will turn into a column with the labels. And then if we get small enough, it's a column without the labels. And that's it. That's really all there is. Flexbox makes it really easy to style forms and have them be responsive. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, if you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.